Alrighty, welcome everybody. Uh, we're going to be doing a quick video today on how to compute real GDP using initial and final prices or Las Perez and Pash index. So very briefly, we have two methods for computing the change in real GDP. We have Les Perez, which is uses initial prices, and the Pash index, which uses final prices. Uh, and you'll see what this means in a second. Uh, if you haven't already seen this or used this uh, for calculating growth rates. So one way to remember this is that L comes before P. Uh, sometimes you will find it easy to remember which one goes with which. L comes before P, so that means that L is initial and P would be final. Also, something we're going to talk about in this video is a third method that is used by modern national income statisticians, and this is called chain weighting, uh, also known as the Fisher Index. And this is when you take the geometric average between two growth rates. And this can be seen right here, highlighted in green. And we'll get to that towards the end of the video. OK, so here is our example for the video. We have a economy that only produces two goods those two goods being coffee and vinyl. And we're gonna calculate Les Perez, Pash, and then we're gonna calculate the growth rates of the two. And then we're gonna use this for chain weighted real GDP. All right, so first, using Las Perez, find real GDP in 2021 and 2022. So remember that L comes before P, so L must be initial prices and P must be final prices. So let's go ahead and do this. So Les Perez in 2021, we use initial prices, so it's very similar to calculating nominal GDP. So we have a, uh, let's go ahead and say 2021, we have a quantity of 1,000 times the price of coffee, which is $3 plus the quantity of vinyl in 2021 times the price of vinyl, right? And then we have 2022. And the key here is that we're using Les Perez. So we're using, we're still using those initial prices, but we're using 2022 quantities. So 1,100 now, because we're using 2022 quantities times the price in 2021 plus the quantity in 2022 times the price in 2021. Okay, and this should give us our answers. Let me see. I'm gonna have to plug this into my calculator. Or maybe I won't have to. So this is going to be 9,000 and this will be 9,300. So that is how you get Las Perez in 2021 and 2022. Um, pretty intuitive. So next, we're going to do PASH index. So remember, PASH is going to be final prices. So that just means that when calculating 2021 and 2022, we're only going to use 2022 prices. OK, so in 2021, we have the quantity of 1,000. That is true. But now we're multiplying this by the prices in 2022. So 350 plus the quantity of vinyl in 2021, which is 300 times the price of vinyl in 2022. It's a little different. And then this is going to give us 9,425, okay? And then in 2022, sorry about that. Uh, obviously I'm running low on battery. Uh, so 2022, we're gonna use the 2022 quantities times the 2022 price and the same thing for vinyl. And this was an error, so I'm sorry about this. I messed up this first one. 
or this last one? The answer is still the same. I was just going too fast. There we go. And this comes out to la da da. Ninety-seven seventy-five. Okay. So now, now we have calculated Les Perez in 2021 and 2022. And we have also calculated PASH in both years as well. So now the third question says using Les Perez. So using what we got from question one, what's the percentage change in real GDP between 2021 and 2022? Okay. So to do that, we're just going to do yt plus 1 minus yt over yt, OK? So here, what that basically means is that we're going to do 9,300 minus 9,000 over 9,000 to get that growth, that growth rate, the percentage change, uh, I should say. So then this is going to give us 3. We can either leave it as 0 0.033 repeated, or we can go ahead and say this is 3.33%. And then now for PASH, we're going to do the same exact thing, 97.75 minus 94.25 over 94.25. And then when we do this, we are going to get 0 0.037, or we can just say 3.71%, okay? So now that we have the growth rates of both Las Perez and PASH, we can finally calculate the chain-weighted real GDP. So recall that chain-weighted real GDP is the square root, one plus the growth rate of one times one plus the growth rate of two, okay, minus one. So we can go ahead and just plug that in. One plus the growth rate of one, 0 0.033 times one plus the growth rate of two, 0 0.037 minus one. And then when we plug this into our calculator, we get 0 0.0351, or we get 3.51%, which is going to be our chain weighted real GDP. Uh, so it, it, it would most likely be safe to say that chain weighted would be your safest measure to use. Um, but yeah, there we go. This is how you calculate Las Perez and PASH index and how you use these to find the percentage change and then use the growth rates or the percentage change in the chain weighted formula to get the chain weighted real GDP. So hope you guys enjoyed the video um, and I'll see you in the next one.